Hey y'all, this is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. I just want to say, hey people, how y'all doing? Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy my channel. Uh, whatever you want to see, I will try to bring it to you. But now let me tell you now, I won't be doing any challenges now. I don't do challenges on my, on my channel. But I do have some videos coming up soon. But in... in, in to, to, to the meantime, in between time, this is a story time. And I want to start with, okay, I was in high school, okay, and a lot of people kept telling me, Shaquana, won't you join ROTC? Won't you get an ROTC? I didn't think I could ever, you know, get in, you know, join ROTC. I, I never thought I could. Because I didn't know what it entailed. I didn't know anything about ROTC. So I said, okay, let me go and get an ROTC. Y'all, I went to Hardaway High School in Columbus, Georgia. I am proud of the accomplishment that I made because I am the only, the first and the only person that's in a wheelchair to ever join ROTC. I'm proud of that. I celebrate that okay because i had to work hard during the summertime they had summer camp and it was just like boot camp at you know the boot camp you go through if you're doing the military i couldn't do that so they had to come up with ways for me to earn a promotion okay because i couldn't do summer camp so, just like athletes had to keep the grades up, I had to keep my grades up, A's and B's. Okay, I couldn't get D's and F's. A C was all right, but I was put on probation if I got a C. Okay, so I got D. So if I got D's and F's, I got demoted. Okay, so my rank, I ended up getting Sergeant First Class in ROTC. Okay. I let my aunt talk me out of being the ROTC my 12th grade year. So, I got out of it. I should have stayed in there. Don't ask me why I listened to her, but I did. That's the biggest regret in my life so far. Listening to my aunt and getting out of ROTC. But, while I was in there, I got these two coins. Leadership Excellence. I got these two coins. I, it's, it's this one. That's the that's the front. That's the back. Okay. I got this one. <coughs> that's the front. And this is the back. I keep these with me. No matter where I go, I have these in my purse. Because I'm proud of these. And I wish I could have kept my rank that was on my shoulders. I wish I could have been able to keep that. But I wasn't able to keep it. But I have these. And I have pictures of me at ROTC. And I'm going to try my best to get those pictures to y'all. And include them in my video. But that's this is the best thing I am proud of in my life. I'm proud of these. I'm proud of the fact that I'm the first person in a wheelchair to be in ROTC. I'm proud of myself. Tell people all the time it don't matter if you have a disability if you put your mind to it you can do anything you want to do and can't nobody take this accomplishment from me and I'm I'm proud of myself because I joined ROTC not knowing 
what it was gonna be like. I had some obstacles when I was in ROTC. I had people, you know, say things to me when I was in ROTC. I had people try to put me down when I was in ROTC. But I made it. Okay, I had to train new cadets that came in. With me being in the wheelchair, I had to find my way of training cadets. I had to find my way. Nobody told me how to train the cadets. I had to find my way, okay? I had to figure out how I was going to tell them to march and all of that, okay? But I did what I could do to the best of my ability, and I'm proud of myself. So with that, always live your dream. Don't ever be afraid to try something. Always try, and if you fail, at least you know you tried. And if you succeed, celebrate it. Because I do. So, bye-bye.